Shalom. First and foremost, I would like to give all praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Harakakwadash. That's all praise to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, who you ignorantly call God, in the name of His Son, Yahweh Shai, who you ignorantly call Jesus Christ, in the name of the Holy Spirit. I would also like to give a double honors to my apostles and elders of the Great Millstone that taught me this truth. And I would like to say a sincere Shalom to the hopeful elect scattered throughout the four winds of the world. The men that are prophesying and laboring in this truth and in this doctrine to you, I say Shalom, okay? The title of this lesson is Desperate Times as More Shutdowns Loom, all right? And this is in reference to a lot of these, uh, the majority of these small business owners that, that are catching hell right now, that are uh, uh, desperately trying to hang on by a limb, all right? You know, uh, they're, 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 they've taken out these loans from the government, and that's still not enough. All right, they they took they, you know they 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 opened their businesses back up, but business as uh you know certain states have uh, limited the capacity that they can have in their restaurants or or whatever um to um you know twenty percent thirty percent, and at the end of the day it's still not enough. All right, because it's a chain reaction of events where it's only a certain amount of people that still are doing all right that have money and they're still you know catching hell. They're still living check to check. All right. And a lot of these people are 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 becoming lazy where they just want to get the shit uh, Postmate or Uber Eats or whatever. OK. And, and at the end of the day, a lot of these businesses, uh, mainly these restaurants, they still got to pay their rent. OK. So eventually they're going to shut down. That That's what the end game is for a lot of these small businesses. OK. They're going to get bought out by uh, large corporations if they're successful, if these large corporations can use them. OK. And, and, that, and that's just another part of America being destroyed, all right? The, the infrastructure of America, okay? The, the economic side of America, all right? And, hey, is this, these are the times that we're living in, desperate times, okay? And the shutdowns, all right, are going to come in. I got another article right here. It won't actually, I'll, I'll read the title because it won't let me go into the article. It, it says, uh, let me see. It won't even let me scroll. It says, more Orange County, uh, I think it's the, um, the, um, the basically the, the the restaurants are going against the uh, orders of the state. All right, the state is saying shut down. Okay, but the restaurant owners they know if they shut down, that's it. Okay, they're already behind on their rent. Okay, and it's just another testament uh, of the end of America. Okay, the the end of the small business and, and like I said, the end of America in general. So let me read a little bit of this article, and I got another article I want to touch on. That's another. Uh, that's another. Um, that was another trap, a snare for these uh, these small business owners, as it as it refers to the taxes, okay? Because a lot of them took this money, this bailout money, but they got they and they're not able to. Um, let me see, I'll get it real quick for them. Um, I don't want to explain it wrong. They they won't be able to. Um, they won't be able to write off expenses. Let me see. And on you know when they file their taxes, they won't be able to write off. Uh, uh, expenses such as payroll and rent paid with uh, paid for with money from the Paycheck Protection Program of the CARES Act. Okay, so a lot of these businesses are going to be left with a hefty ass tax uh, tax bill they're going to have to pay. All right, hey, like the head brother, one of the head brothers in our camps always says, the devil wants his money back. You take money from this devil, they're going to get their money back one way or another, and, and with interest. All right, so let me get into this article, and I'm a you know, read a little bit of the other one and pull out some precepts and Lord willing, this lesson is edifying to the elect. It says, Lori Thomas has a high hopes for her restaurant. Terzo would be able to stay open this holiday season. Her team has been serving its upscale's Mediterranean fare from the restaurant San Francisco sidewalk after adjusting to outside only dining requirements or in California. And I'm pretty sure other big states like New York where they're fighting to keep these restaurants open. Also, they, they made outside dining, um, they spent thousands. Well, I was gonna say they spent thousands of dollars on these outside dining for, for companies to come in and construct these outside dining areas with social distancing. Okay, but if they're shut down, hey, that that money, that investment that they made, it, it's 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 gonna uh it's 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 gonna you know be nothing pretty much. Okay, or it says, but California saw saw dramatic dramatic surges in uh C nineteen cases in recent weeks. Governor Gavin Newsom issued stricter shutdowns orders that again restrict businesses and to put to excuse me businesses restricted businesses and put an end to outdoor dining. 
Okay, so they 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 made these outdoor dining areas, but put an end to all of that. They hey, the governor of California shut all this shit down. All right, it says now thousands of newly constructed outside dining parklet parklets across the state, which cost tens of thousands of dollars to build, sit empty. Restaurants like Thomas has are bracing for difficult weeks ahead. Many of them saying they won't survive a t survive on takeout and deliveries alone, making another surge in statewide unemployment all uh, but certain. Hey, it's going to happen. It's imminent that uh, uh, the, the shutdown is going to lead to more unemployment. Okay? It's tragic, said Thomas, who is, who is also head of the Golden Gate Restaurant Association, adding that adding that she expected hundreds more, hundreds more restaurants in San Francisco would shut down in the weeks coming, leaving thousands without jobs, uh, data from San Francisco's Chamber of Commerce showing that 85% of bars and restaurants in formerly uh, bustling parts of the city have already closed. 85%. All right. And those people that were waiters, cooks, bartenders, hosts, hey, they're out of jobs right now. And they're going to say, oh, you people don't have a job during the holiday season. That's what they get for selling, you know, for, for believing in America and celebrating these wicked ass holidays. Hey, two, two thirds of our people are out there celebrating this shit. Okay. We see California state new stay at home order is a desperate attempt to contain the fast spreading virus as hospitals in the state near capacity. The virus has infected close to 1.5 million Californians and killed more than 2,500 and officials and epidermologists say C-19 has become so prevalent that activities that were relatively safe before now constitute more risk. But more businesses already reeling from the state first lockdown in March. All right. They're still trying to recover from the lockdown in March. And we're in December. Okay. We were nine months into this and they still haven't recovered. They're not going to recover. All right. It says some winners, but many losers. During the first shutdown, California was hit with a record unemployment shooting from 5.5% to 16.4% in the first two months of the, of the pandemic with with more than 2.9 million jobs lost, California coffee, it's like you, California coffers, however, have come out better than expected through the dif through the difficult year, bolst bolstered by high wage earners who largely who are, are largely unaffected and in some cases thrive during the crisis. A lot of these rich, rich wealthy uh, Edomites they they thrive during this time. Look at Bill Gates and uh, not Bill Gates, yeah, him, that devil. Uh, uh, what's the other guy? Um, Elon Musk. He he's been making money, and the Amazon guy, uh, Jeff Bezos. All right, uh, along with all their, uh, their, their their partners and investors, they're all making money. Okay, off this. Okay. Let me see. Let me jump down. Um, you hear? Let me get this. I'll uh, read this part, and then I'm gonna jump to the other article. It says, uh, people are feeling outright desperate. In the beginning, restaurants were enthusiastic to do their part to slow the spread of C-19, said Sherokina Shams, a spokesperson with the California Restaurant Association. But since then, her members have shared harrowing stories. Some said they mortgaged their homes to pay rent on their restaurants. Others told her they laid off workers. They laid off workers. <laughs> Oh, their laid off workers were living in their cars in, in the same story of the last eight months. She said only when you are eight months into a global pandemic and the story doesn't change. The people who start who started out frustrated today are feeling outright desperate in a desperate time. People are going to resort to desperate measures. All right. Hey, that's when they're going to take matters into their own hand. That's when the love of many is going to wax cold. All right. Uh, Thomas, the the Terzo owner, had to let go of had to let go of 52 employees had to let go of 52 employees last week when the restaurant shut its doors for the season, only retaining five members of her staff to help run other restaurants. Rose Cafe, a for a bare bones takeout operation, she still she still she's still not certain that business will survive. Oh, so they're catching hell right now, all right? And, an, and another reason to add to this is when, like I said, I was referring to the tax to tax situation where they passed this right, and they passed this um, 
right under everyone's nose when, they, when or at least these uh these business owners they don't know that it's coming when when they do when they file their taxes it says small businesses that took ppp aid may now face a punishing tax bill all right and the majority of these businesses that businesses that are struggling right now took this tax took this tax this uh this um this uh, 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 aid, okay? A recent IRS ruling typing up a loose end in the 2020, 2020 economic re relief law could force many small businesses to pay taxes on government aid meant to help through the pandemic. The agency on the agency on November 18 said the businesses cannot deduct expenses such as payroll and rent paid with the money from the Paycheck Protection Program of the CARES Act, such Deductions are common when those expenses are paid for with revenue from running a business. It says the ruling hardened a divide between Trump administration and the main tax writers in Congress who have sought since the C-19 outbreak produced an economic slowdown to ensure that aid to businesses not be taxed. Or they didn't tax you. They didn't say, say that they weren't going to tax you. All right. But they, at the end of the day, they're, they're taxing you. Okay, the IRS decision got lost in the swirl of news out of Washington last week, including that the Treasury Department moved to restrict the Federal Reserve emergency lending. Treasury Secretary Steve Stephen Munchen opposed PPP-related deductions for businesses in negotiations with Congress earlier this year. All right, let me uh, actually it's going to give you an example. Um, I don't know where was it. Um, It says uh, the IRS views PPP aid as a wash for business since tax-free income would go in and non-deductible non expenses go out of the tax calculation. But, the, but from a business owner's perspective, the PPP money replaces lost revenue, but without the benefit of being able to su subcontract payroll and other costs to calculate taxable income, creating a greater tax exposure as a result. All right, so they're going to have to pay more taxes, okay? And, and that's going to come in a form of uh, e either probably laying people off, all right, more lost jobs. People were thinking, actually, the word from Congress at the time was it is going to be a forgivable loan and says right in the CARES Act that it's not income, said Michael Crabtree, partner of partner at Boulay, an accounting firm with offices in Eden, Prairie in, in Minnesota, and excuse me, in Minneapolis. People were thinking it's like a government grant, essentially a shot in the arm to help them through this rough time. All right, they were thinking it was a grant. All right, because grants you don't have to pay back. Okay, he said, but as they decided to create the disallowance of the expenses, then it may, then it might not be helping keep these businesses afloat. It was called the Paycheck Protection Program with the idea that the money would go to the employees to keep them off unemployment line. That's generally what happened. As far as the health of the business itself, it isn't really doing as much. So they gave these companies money to help their payroll, but what did a lot of companies do? They pocketed the money, all right, while and let their employees get unemployment benefits, okay, with the extra $600, but it's 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 uh, uh the at the end of the day those businesses lose because they got to pay on that money all right let me see in a statement Grassley and Wyden said the ruling at, by the IRS and Treasury increases the tax burden on small businesses by accelerating their tax liability all at a time when many businesses continue to struggle and some are again again beginning to close. Small businesses need to help maintaining their cash flow, not more strain on it. All right, and at the end of the day, this is all about Esau's plan to cripple these um, these uh, these small businesses. All right, let me try to pull this. Actually, let me try to pull this article up again, and so you can just see the title, because it shows it's, it's clearly a clear divide. Um, I'll just read the title. It says, more Orange County restaurants decide to stay open, declaring their views on Instagram. So they're blatantly going against the um, the request of the, the governor of, of California, okay, for the shutdown. And also, the sheriff out there in, uh, I think, Riverside County, he also said that he wouldn't enforce um, 
the the, the shutdown, you know, uh, um, that that was um, put on those people. So it's a clear divide in 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 um in, in these people. It's a clear divide in in, in Babylon. All right, you're gonna have you're gonna have, and that's it's gonna result in uprising of the people. It's gonna result in um, um you know a uh, 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 you know a uh, uh, class wars, race wars. All right, states talking about um um uh, be becoming independent from America. Okay, this is all a part of that great divide that's taking place here in America. This is uh the book of Mark chapter three and verse twenty four. And if a kingdom actually twenty three, and he called the and he called this is talking about uh, Yahweh Shai, and he called them unto him and said unto them in a in parables, how can Satan cast out Satan? If a kingdom be divided against itself, that kingdom cannot stand. And if a house be divided against itself, that house cannot stand. And if Satan rise up against Satan and is divided, he cannot stand but has an end. And the end is, you're seeing the end of America. Okay, Satan is casting out Satan. All right, the house is divided. Kingdom is This, this kingdom is divided. Okay, it's divided amongst the, 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 the Israelites and the, and, the, and the Edomites. The um the Democrats and the Republicans, all right? At the end of the day, you're going to have to pick a side, the righteous and the wicked, okay? Let me start up here. Let me go back to um Isaiah 19 and uh, I'm sorry, at verse 14. The Lord hath mingled a perverse spirit in the midst thereof, and they have caused Egypt to err in every work thereof, as a drunken man staggered in his vomit. And Egypt... Is 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 is, is this, that Egypt is speaking of is Babylon, okay? And they and they're airing and everything they put their hand to, all right? They they try to have a bailout here, a stimulus here, all that shit's gonna fail, all right? And all you people that believe in America, you're gonna go down right along with it, because you think this place is gonna um, you think this place is gonna uh, 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 thrive again, all right? You think this place is gonna uh, be resuscitated, okay? You think this place is it's, this place is through? This place is on life support, and the Most High is about to pull the plug. Okay, it says, uh, in that day, Egypt shall be like unto women, actually, verse 15, Salakia, neither shall there be any work for Egypt, which the head or tail, branch or rust may do. There's not going to be any work here. You clearly see that. Businesses are shutting down, all right, and they're shutting down for good, okay? They, they, hey, it's not, it's not no work. It's, it's, the unemployment is, is, is through the roof, and they're not providing, they're not, they're not creating any jobs, all right, Trump, you know, gave you the illusion that they were trying to bring jobs back to America when they're more than likely during his administration. They sent more jobs abroad in uh, in um, and uh, a you got AI and you got automation taking over jobs. All right. It says in that day, Egypt shall be like unto unto a, unto women and it shall be afraid and fear because of the shaking of the hand of the Lord of hosts, which he shaketh over it. And the Lord is shaking this place up right now. Okay, he and he and he's gonna shake this place, shaking up this place spiritually. Where the article said people are people were uh, where did it say? Um, where the hell is it? Uh, it said people were desperate, but it said something before that. Let me see. Um, let me see. People, yeah, started out of uh, frustrated. All right, people were frustrated at first, but now they're just feeling outright desperate. That's what the a hey, and this place is. All right, because the Most High is shaking this place up spiritually. This place is not going to last. All right, you, you get that out your mind if you think of Babylon, America is it, going to last forever. Like it can never fall. Okay, all the all the the great kingdoms, you know, the wicked kingdoms that came before America, they all fell, and they were great. At they were like Rome was the greatest up to that point, just like um, uh, the the uh, the Grecian uh, um, Empire, along with the Persians. So they were the greatest empire up to that point. And they all fell. America is no different. This is Ecclesiastes 12 and 3. In that day that when the keepers of the house shall tremble and the strong men shall bow themselves and the grinders cease because they are few, few meaning few workers, and those that look out of the windows be darkened. They're looking out the windows and they're darkened because there's no future. All right. They're trying to be optimistic. They're trying to, uh, about America, about the, their, their position, about their, uh, their, their um, you know, where they, where they are and they, and they, you know, their current uh, status, but hey, it's no optim, optim it's no reason to be optimistic about America or, or or the future of America. Verse four: And the doors shall be shut in the streets when the sound of the grinding is low, and the rock and he shall rise up at the voice of the birds, and the daughters of music shall be brought low. So the doors will be shut in the streets. If the doors are shut, that means no businesses are open. 
There's no commerce taking place. There's no um, uh, um, there, there's no money to be made. Okay, the sign of the grinding, the grinding is low, and grinding is, is synonymous with work. All right, there's not going to be any work. There's not going to be any work in Babylon, uh, 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 in, in 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 pretty much any uh, any other place. This place of America is going to be uh, eventually turned into a third world country. All right, this is the book of Second Ezra, chapter six, and verse twenty-two. It says, and suddenly shall the sown places appear unsown. The full storehouses shall suddenly be found empty. If the storehouse is a store, all right, if, if, they're, if, they're, if they're empty, that means there's no there's no merchandise in there, I mean, meaning there's no employees in there, okay? So, hey, it's going to be found empty because there's not going to be any work. It's this, this, and and, and this, this is twofold because it goes along with the uh, the grocery stores because they're going to be a great famine, a shortage of food that's going to take place. Okay, I read it again. And suddenly shall the sown places appear unsown, and the full storehouses shall suddenly be found empty. All right. So right along with the job loss, there's going to be a pan. Obviously, we're in a pandemic. Okay, great pestilence, but it's going to be a food shortage, which no one is 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 um is really talking about because they're worried about the election and all you know a whole bunch of a whole bunch of folly and not concentrating on. And, and can't see the uh, the prophecy unfolding and the things that's taking place. All right, this is the book of Jeremiah, um, fifty one, and let me see. I'll start at uh, seven. Babylon has been a golden cup in the Lord's hand that made all the earth drunken. The nations have drunken of her wine; therefore, the nations are mad. All right, everyone has drunk this Babylonian wine. That's why everyone's going to catch this hell. All right, don't think that America, ain't the, you know, America is the, the most wicked and this place is a um, consuming nation. All right, but don't think these uh, these other countries ain't catching hell on an, econ on an economic and employment standpoint also. Okay, Babylon is suddenly fallen and destroyed. How for her? Take balm for her pain. If so, if, if, if so be, she may be healed. Okay, there's a point. We would have healed Babylon, but she is not healed. Forsake her and let us go, every one into his own country, for her judgment reacheth up, reacheth unto heaven, and is lifted up even to the skies. Okay, so it says we would have healed Babylon, but she's not gonna. She is not healed. Hey, no one can heal this place. This place won't be healed. Or it says, it says forsake her, let everyone go into his own country. So as this place uh, uh, is is fallen. All these other nations, they're going to flee like, damn, shit's getting bad here. You know, we used to have, you know, I used to have this many employees and had making this much revenue a month. Now I'm ain't making shit. Let me go back to my, uh, my own country and, and, and take this stack of uh, money I got with me and uh, uh, transfer it into my uh, the, 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 the currency of my nation and shit, live it out, live it up. Because these nations, have be, all these nations have become rich off America. And all right, when they see this place going down, they're not going to try to uh, uh, stand up for America. They're going to take their money and hit the road, pretty much. Okay. Um, let me go to this. To speaking of the divide, all right, because this place is clearly divided. You got um, you got the the um, what is this? that sheriff in uh damn where was it? It was I think it was uh Orange County, not Orange County, Riverside County. That he said he wasn't going to um enforce uh i think it was enforce the shut you know enforce a shutdown well, let me look it up real quick let me see but it's clearly a divide you got the restaurant saying that they're not going to shut down all right I want to say it was Riverside County. Let me see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. Yeah, here it is. It says Riverside County. Sh oh, of course. Satan. I'll just read the. I'll just read the title. Riverside County Sheriff refuses to implement California um, Governor uh, Newsom's lockdown orders. All right, so they're eight. Hey, they're clearly at a divide, all right? They're supposed to be all on one accord. All these Edomites and the government and everything, they're, 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 it's a clear clear divide, all right? It's only going to get worse. This, this divide can't be mended, okay? 
This is back in uh, Matthew chapter uh, 24 and verse uh, 4. And Yahweh Shai answered and said unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you. For many shall come in my name, saying, I am Hamashiach, and, and shall deceive many. And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of war. See that ye be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass. But the end is not yet. For nation shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom. And there shall be famines and pestilence and earthquakes in diverse places. All these are the beginning of sorrows. All these things that are happening in the beginning of sorrows is going to get worse. Okay, well, if you got a job now, you better, you know, thank you. How about Shema Shai that he's still provided for you? Because at the end of the day, if you fear the Lord, you're not going to take that Maxine. Therefore, because your jobs are going to come and, and, and they're going to be paid off to make you uh, uh, take that or, you know, find another job. And that's the harsh reality of it. All right. So pretty soon, hey, hey the, the, the job market is going to be it may it's going to take another hit, but it may come back open because you're going to have some two third niggas. You're going to have, of course, some Edomites and heathens that's going to take these shots to uh, to get those jobs, but at the end of the day, they're going to be destroyed too, okay, so, you know, Lord willing, this lesson was edifying to the elect, and I want to give all praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Kodash, double honors to my apostles and the elders of the great millstone, and peace and salutations to the hopeful elect, Shalom.